Alright, here we go. Dallas Mavericks, my NBA. I was be taking first the one that I did before the draft, but I traded for Clint Capella because that obviously didn't happen. So here's the team at player progression. I don't know who these two two -word players are, I just downloaded the scenario. Now there are some moves that I want to try to make with this team. Vote in the 2024 draft class. That's not the one I meant to load. Alright, let's try to trade away Tim Hardaway Jr. and JaVale McGee. Let's see what we can get for those two. Uh, there's Clint Capella. Anthony Black would be awesome, but that's not realistic. Jay Sean Tate and Jock Lando would be awesome. There has been a trade that I've seen rumored. Kind of like in theory. Let's see if we can get it to work. Bojan Bogdanovic. And I think Killian Hayes was the other one. Not trading away two first. I don't want Alec Burks. No, not Luca. They want, no, they do not want Rashawn Holmes. They want McKinley Wright or AJ Lawson. No. They can have the 2024 pick, unprotected. No, and I don't want Alec Burks. What if we throw in a second? Perfect. So add Bojan Bogdanovic to the team. Where is... Where's Josh Green? Why is he not on the roster? Why is he with Memphis? Is that why the said plan had Santi Aldama on the team? Until Dama for Josh Green. Sure, throw in a second. I don't care about the second round picks. Alright, there we go. I don't want Rashawn Holmes starting. I'd rather have Derek Lively starting with this team. Send down these two two way players. Send on McKinley Wright and AJ Lawson too, actually. Okay, so we have a full roster. Switch those two out. Rashawn Holmes will probably not be getting minutes. I'm moving him to the end of the bench. I want to stagger Luka and Kyrie minutes. I think Luka, I'm just going to run and first nine minutes of every quarter and the last nine minutes of the game. The look and Kyrie minutes are probably going to be pretty set in stone as what I'm setting them as. I want to stagger the two. And then the rest of the team will probably just be based off performance. Give 
Bojan 30 minutes a game, give Grant Williams 30 minutes a game. I think I'm only going to give Lively 27 minutes a game. I'll give Rashawn Holmes some minutes. Maybe, maybe he'll impress. Give Jaden Hardy a nice 12 minute run there. Let Seth Curry get some minutes there. Small forward Josh Green. Give Olivier Maxon's Prosper minutes there. And more Josh Green minutes. And then power forward. Split between Maxon's and Maxi Kleba. And one small for this rotation, actually. Get Jaden Hardy at the three. Let Kyrie and Luca run some shoe guard for Killian Hayes. We'll give this rotation a try to start off the season. First game versus the Charlotte Hornets, of course, LaMelo Ball, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and Mark Williams. And skip through all of this pregame stuff. Alright, here we go, in game one. Nice, we win the jump ball. Switch the coach settings, because for some reason it never saves. Rozier's giving Kyrie too much room in the corner. Drain that one. Three pointer. Ooh, blocked by Kyrie. Once again, Kyrie giving a lot of room in the corner by Terry Rozier. Lively, nice. Offensive rebound for Derek Lively, his first basket of his NBA career. Williams against ball. 
touches the glass to finish the layup. Well, the great length, the great size of the backboard, the mellow ball continues to improve as an interior score. And that shrieking rack attack is a full on drive. Are we another three? Nice. Are we taking over here in the first quarter? He's got nine of our thirteen points. And that one was open, even though Kyrie had a hand in his face. There we go, get to the free throw line. Foul, foul on Miles Bridges. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. What you love about Luka Doncic is this unique combination of... What difficulty... Okay. ...and skill. He can really play cross-positionally. He makes shots at all three levels. It's so dangerous. Here's Hayward. Williams is screen on Bogdanovich. And Mark Williams, easy low up there. There wasn't really anything more live they could have done on that. Oh, blocked there for s someone. And Grant Williams grabs the offensive rebound, puts it back. 2-2-2 two, two, and two for Grant Williams so far. Kyrie, for some reason, just leaving Rozier wide open. Let's see how last year's top scores stack up on the 2K leaderboard. Second, Luka Doncic. This is the oh, the save has Damian Lillard on the Heat already. Good to know. I didn't bother, like, looking at literally any other team. And even this team wasn't ideal in a sa uh, shared scenario. Luka hits the midi. As they were just out muscling Barry on there, which is not very realistic. Barry on is much stronger. There we go, blocked by Grant Williams now. And Mark Williams just gives a light chest bump to Derek Lively and Lively falls to the other side of the fucking planet. Step back again, but he did not, so it was very, very contested shot. And the mother ball showing off his defense there was with an amazing closeout. I don't like that, but there's no meter on the layups. Defense the Mavericks. 
I have Luke already with four rebounds and six points on the game. Nice alley oops lively. I was after I threw that I was really expecting Mark Williams to get into the lane of that. As Lamelo just blows by Luca, there is zero problem. All right, that should be bringing in Dwight Powell. Yep, Dwight Powell in the center now. That play went to absolute shit real quick. I don't know why I continued on with it. Was a green release, and if anything, I was early, not late. Luca cherry pick on the other end. Transition here. And here's Doncic. Give him eight points now. Beyond the arc. Yep. Just calling for a Luca ISO there, but Lamella Ball is apparently a really fucking good defender. And Al Loop there to Miles Bridges over. What, three? Over two Mavericks defenders. Kyrie had nine of our first, like, 12 points and has not scored since. And Dwight Powell, um... Just refused to move on that one, so Gordon Hayward gets the easiest dunk of all time. Grant Williams, easy three. Just continues to carve up every center with, well, two centers that we've thrown out there so far. I guess they've been carved up for Sean Holmes because he hasn't touched the floor yet, but. Well, apparently that was my mistake for thinking that, um, Kyrie was going to run the play that was called. He was supposed to just pop out to the three point line off the screens, but instead he went into the teeth of the defense. Brandon Miller's in a shooting guard, by the way, I just thought noticed. I was wondering what position he was in at. Killian Hayes, pull up three off the dribble. On the floor, there you go. Three pointer. The Hornets pull it in. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Here's Washington on target. And they decided to switch Moxon's prosper on to Miles Bridges, even though there was another defender on him, but the other person ran the fuck away from the ball. Classic 2K. Excellent numbers. And this Mavericks team grab, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out. 
Killian Hayes, Lamelo sagging way off Killian. with an open three. It's Maverick team is kind of a live by the three, die by the three team and it's been working out pretty well. Kind of a huge take a fly on this player type deal, but eight points and one assist early in this game. As Josh Green gets stuck on whoever the center is, is it still Mark Williams on there? No, I think it's Nick Richards. Either way, he got stuck on that screen big time. Brandon Miller is too good of a defender, and that was, wow. Who was supposed to be guarding Hayward there? Josh Green was supposed to be guarding him, I don't know where he was at on that play though. Just end the first quarter, 43-28 to in the first quarter. Our shot was definitely falling in the first quarter, so that means that our shot is probably not going to fall for the rest of the game. And foul on Grant Williams there. As Nick Richards makes them both. And off the front of him, Luka Doncic. Um, yeah. Luka getting guarded by Rozier should be able to just muscle his way to the basket anyway. Ooh, nice block there from Derek Lively. As Miles Bridges just carving up with that baseline drive there, Bojan Bogdanovic has looked absolutely lost on defense. Bojan, come on Bojan, if you're going to be awful on defense, you have to get open shots. As Bridges just blows by Luca there as Luca got stuck in an animation. Just like real life, this Mavericks team is not playing any fucking defense. As Kate Co uh, Cody Martin there with the best closeout in the world, even though he was completely and utterly lost on the screen, still managed to recover. Pass to 
Nice steal there from Lively. There we go, Kyrie with his first bucket in like an entire quarter. And foul there on Grant Williams as he tried to close out on that one. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make any contact with him, but... Took his an awful game, so that was a foul. As Cody Martin gets the steal there on really the clear reach and foul. And Luca, just like real life, looking completely and utterly fucking lost on defense there. He was standing in the paint, but. Come on, Bojan, hit your shot. There we go. And that, that was a green. That was 110% a green release. Why is Kyrie guarding Miles Bridges? That's an awful, awful defensive matchup. Oh, Grant Williams has a, such a slow release, I forgot. And, uh, awful defensive possession there, which is pretty much what I expect out of this team. No fucking defense in the slightest. Alright, now don't clog up the spacing. Or, Jaden Hardy decides to do everything he can to make sure that play doesn't fucking work. That one should have been a block. And there's a foul on live lead, I guess? I don't quite know where the foul was on that, as they are hitting their ninth and 10th free throw of the game. But man, they double Luka and, and Jaden Hardy, fucking butt neck and wide open, decides to just leave the play completely and go stand pretty much on top of one of his other players so we don't have anybody open. Really there we go, Luca. Easy dunk in transition. I've been trying to draw the doubles with Luca since they double him in the post, but um, yeah, the AI doesn't have enough IQ to have open players stay open. Bojan, open three. That was another situation where Bojan and Grand Williams were standing basically on top of each other, so I didn't really have anybody too particularly open. Easy dunk there for Lively. I would like to see Lovely having more rebounds, but at least he's scoring the ball. Now 
Washington up top. Rebellion is defending. Washington passes to Martin. Washington a screen on Doncic. Here's Rozier. As Terry Rozier, Luca played phenomenal defense until right there. He for some reason just kind of threw his hands up and stopped moving. Which, yeah, that seems about on brand. As Grant Williams decides to uh, start moving towards the bubble team instead of just staying open. And that's a foul on the three. Grant Williams continues to just foul every time he goes up for a contest. Olivia knocks on Sprouse in the game now. Seth Curry doing what Seth Curry does, open catch and shoot three. Luca already 14 points, five rebounds, nine assists here. And Lamella does not fool on that step back in the slightest as Seth Curry jumps into the crowd and I don't quite know why they were switching up who Curry was guarding so much and just leaving Gordon Hayward under the, wide open under the hoop was what they decided was the best move. I don't know why Seth Curry jumped into the crowd either. Alright, they're not calling anything. What the fuck? They said Pax passed to Kleba on what was supposed to be an alley pass on the pick and roll to Rashawn Holmes, and neither player went towards it, and the alley pass was nowhere near the basket. Which all I have to say about that is just classic fucking 2K, man. Luca, nice baseline drive dunk there. As where the hell was Luca on that play? Obviously not guarding his man, because the mellow ball was so open there. Nobody was open. Uh, half the team was in the paint. I thought that one was a green release, and I thought that one was pretty open. Brandon Miller was not stepped up on that at all. Nice block there. Olivier Prosper. That jump shot is awful. Nice, another block there from Maxi. Foul on the three by PJ Washington. That's the first time in a long time I can remember the AI fouling me on a three. And he makes that one through about two really good contests for our Mavericks players, which was apparently still only 17% covered. Kleba, open corner three. Sixth assist for Kyrie now. 
play the game, Doris. VA, one of the best scoring guards we have ever seen. His handle is elite. It gives you some sense of how much the There we go, Rashawn Holmes. Point guards almost must score as much as they facilitate. Oh, from deep. Washington grabs this. Charlotte. Gordon Hayward faced through Kyrie there to get the contest. And I don't know. Oh, ooh, boy, we had a lot of Mavericks in his face there for not to be considered an open coverage. There we go, Crossford gets the free throw line. Alright, Omax first free throw is good. And second free throw is also good. And for some reason, Seth Curry was guarding Mark Williams. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on that one. That's not ideal. As Brandon Miller recovered from that way too well, and I don't even know where. It, there we go. Since I don't even know where the player I'm controlling is, whoever I'm controlling is off screen though. What is the Bella Bell's perimeter defense? Oh, he's got um, a minus perimeter defense. That'd be why he's such a good fucking defender. They have him as a really fucking good defender. <laughs> and for some reason, they decide that Seth Curry is the guy who should be guarding the big men and the bigger wings. I don't understand it. Are we going to run a play here, or is the play just to have Kyrie stand at the logo? I don't want to just run out the quarter. I also don't want Kyrie to just be an awful shooter, though. Alright, 74-59 to at halftime. Big lead despite the defense just doing less than nothing. At least the offense showed up. Shooting 54% as a team. At least the offense is showing up. That's pretty much how this team is going to thrive, is if the offense shows up. Alright, what play are we going to run here? Um, apparently the play there was just do absolute fuck all. And surprise, surprise, it was um, not a good play. Alright, Luca, 18.99, one rebound, one assist away from a double double. As the green bar for Luca's lead went from half the bar to nothing to a quarter of the bar back to nothing, all in the span of that one fucking animation. Foul there by Bogdanovich, who wasn't even supposed to be guarding him. He left. I'm just glad Lamella didn't notice that Gordon Hayward was standing completely wide open in the corner. The defensive IQ is absolute, probably the biggest negative of this team. At least here through the, uh, the one game so far. Well, what's been played of the one game so far. Harry, wide open three. Harry shooting awful, awful efficiency. As Rozier left wide open by Kyrie there. 
as Kyrie was nowhere near his man Spice Spice. Bogdanovich, nice mid range there. Luka with his 11th assist, one rebound away from a triple double. And Lamelo gets the wide open three because Mark Williams is Andre Drummond on the offensive glass this game. As if Lively would have ever fucking just held the ball, what the fuck? That passed to Lively and he just, his hands have to be at like a 40 fucking rating for that animation. I'm actually curious now. Is that, yeah, his hands are 72. Still good enough that he shouldn't be fumbling it like that, but... Holy shit, way below average hands. Well, Luka gets his 10th uh, rebound because I don't know how Lively missed that alley-oop. It sure as hell wasn't because I mistimed the dunk meter because that was pretty much spot on. It just hit off the back rim because why can't we have... Why, we're an offensive team, why would our offense do anything? Gordon Hayward's been absolutely killing anybody who've had a small forward. As Kyrie bricks another shot, luckily Lively's there on the offensive glass. Kyrie, a perennial 50-40-90 candidate, is shooting probably sub-40% from the field for us right now. I'd be really surprised if he's not shooting sub-40%. There we go, just blow by Mark Williams. Twenty ten and eleven for Luca now. Now here's ball. He's got fifteen. Rose the air can't get it to go. Doncic gets the ball. And Doncic hammers it home. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Nice block there. Never mind. That was a clean block by Lively, but he gets called for a foul. The few times that the team does play good defense, we end up getting called for fouls on it. There we go, Luca open three off the screens. 25, 11, and 11 for Luca. They call a timeout. It looks like we're going to have 100 before the end of the third quarter. I'm expecting most games to just be absolute shootouts. As nice block there from Lively, and for once it isn't called a fucking foul. The pass goes through Bojan's body, and Bo Rozier is apparently getting guarded by Bojan for some reason. Out 
And Kyrie doing what the Mavs team has done all game, and if you're wide open, uh, if you're wide open because we're doubling Luka, make sure you go and find the nearest fucking Maverick player to go stand in the face of, so that way nobody's open. Relocate to standing directly on top of one of your teammates. Oh, we're Kyrie with a 20 piece now. Kyrie three assists away from a double double of his own. As Luca just gets blown absolutely right by by Lamelo. Lamelo seventeen points on the game. As that pass was uh doing nothing real fucking quick. And that's another foul on Lively. Uh, I don't quite know how that one was a foul. It didn't look like he was even close to making contact, but the Hornets have to get to the free throw line a couple hundred times today. Hayes is the middle of the post player, but he's still got a lot of size on those here. He should be able to muscle him. Hayes with 10 points on the game. And alley up there to Nick Richards, even though he had three Mavericks defenders on him. I'm fine with PJ Washington taking that shot. Unfortunately, none of our Mavericks players were able to come down with the rebound over Nick Richards. We are, it feels like at least we're getting absolutely killed on the offensive glass. There we go, Josh Green with another open three, his second of the game. Up over 100 points now. And that was definitely a foul on Killian Hayes. <laughs> the Hornets have shot so many free throws this game. And they have yet to miss one. Martin hit the floor off that screen, but he was still able to recover and close out in time because, of course, he fucking was. And that one, that one was about as green of a release as you can get. As another foul of Charlotte's in the bonus, Nick Richards. Makes that one. They have to be getting up to, if not already over 20 free throws, and they still haven't missed one. Come on, it's Terry Rozier. He's not a good defender. Get by him. Amazing job on the glass. 
I thought that he was going to fly off for a three on that one. And another foul over the back foul on Killian Hayes this time. And since they're in the bonus, that means more free throws. And there we go. They finally missed their first free throw of the game. I have to see how many free throws. 25. It took them 25 free throws to finally miss one. Nick Richards is the greatest defensive big in the game. Give him the DPOY already. As he catches an out loop on the other end after blocking two shots. Jaden Hardy shooting absolutely abysmally for us. He has yet to make a shot. As a team, we have not scored in over two minutes now. Nick Richards continues to be the new Andre Drummond, grabbing every offensive rebound. As none of the screens hit there. Call, just call a pick and roll. Hopefully one of these screens actually hits. As Nick fucking Richards. I don't... I'm gonna be really curious to see what Nick Richards' stats are at the end of the game. Because it seems like he's grabbing every block, every offensive rebound. He's probably scored double digit points this game. Hey, what a surprise. Nick Richards, another offensive rebound. And I hit three because of it. As they are closing the gap fast on us since we haven't scored in the last five to seven business days. Shit, surprised they didn't hit that one of where they've been shooting. Only a seven point lead up by over twenty at one point. Assist of the game move to lively? Yes it is. If Charlotte wins the game, honestly, I think Nick Richards deserves the play of the game with how he's been playing. He won't get it because he hasn't been scoring like that, but As Josh Green, I told him to step back, but instead he steps forward into the teeth of the defense. There we go, Dwight Powell actually grabbed the rebound, his only third of the game. There we go, we actually draw a foul this time. shooting 43% as a team, it feels like they have made every shot. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Back 
That wasn't who I told him to pass it to. Josh Green unfortunately got the ball um, way later than I wanted him to because there was an extra pass in there. Hayward's going to hit that three, no problem. He doesn't. There we go. Kyrie with the dunk. And Kel is gets called for a foul on what very, very clearly was not a foul. And they continue to hit free throws. They're going to have well over 30 free throws by the end of this game. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. That's really been the difference is that the, our defense can't go five seconds without fouling. Charge. Yep. We get called for a charge on that. We are really going to blow this lead and lose this game. There we go, out of bounds. I don't didn't really see where he went out of bounds on that one, but that's fine. I'll take it. Pass it in. There we go. And Hardy was wide open under the hoop, so that means that he decided to go flare out to the three-point line. I mean, I expect the team's defensive IQ to be less than zero, but the team's offensive IQ has been fucking abysmal, too. There we go, good defense from Kyrie. As he gets stuck in an animation there with Brandon Miller. There we go, the team actually made a shot. I think that... Okay, now we're up to 109. We were at 103 when we started our scoring job. I don't even know who's supposed to be guarding Bridges. Okay, it's Josh Green. I was going to say, there was nobody even remotely close to... Is that another fucking shooting foul? Oh my fucking god. Alright, we almost have our closing lineup and now we have Jaden Hardy in in place of Kyrie for a couple minutes, but then we have our closing lineup. Luca hits that Long two. Yep, that was in fact just a long two. I feel like the team hasn't hit a three in ages. Oh, block there from Bogdanovich. And I thought he would have a super open three there, but no, Brendan Miller is... This, I agree, this entire Hornets team is just phenomenal on the defensive end, apparently. Uh, that's 2K's prediction. Look out for the Hornets to be the best defensive team in the league. Three. There we go. 30-point triple-double now for Luka. He's been doing what he can, but the rest of the team has had zero IQ on either end of the ball. That should have been a blocked shot. I don't say that one wasn't a block. It pretty much went through Lively's hands. And Hardy... That one was 100% a green release. I... But, uh... Apparently Jaden Hardy's shooting up attributes have to be less than zero because that was a green. Absolutely fucking robbed of a three-pointer there, which the team cannot afford right now. The play calling right now is abysmal. The play calling is pretty much just, hey, have Luka make shots. Or 
have people just... Mark Williams, wide fucking open layup. Only a four point lead, now we're up by over 20. Bogdanovich with the layup. I think it's obvious that Bogdanovich has worked on his ability to handle the basketball. Really good control there. Hayward against Bogdanovich. Hayward's shot is off. The Mavericks have gotten five of twelve shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Doncic against Ball. And there we go, draw the foul. I don't know why Lively didn't just dunk it. Uh, that would have been the smart thing to do. There we go, Green's bolt the free throws, which I was not expecting from Lively. And what a surprise, another bullshit foul call. As he makes the first one, Mark Williams will make them bull. They have to have made 30 free throws this game by now. Doncic, open three off the screens. Curry, two assists away from a double-double. I will happily dare Mark Williams to shoot the ball. There's nothing going on in transition. Reset the offense. Kyrie, they were sagging way off of Kyrie, just like they were at the beginning of the game. I will take that three. 12 point lead now. Then somehow I want to see. Yeah, they are 30 for 31 from the free throw line. Thank God we've made 17 threes, because that is the only reason we're able to outmatch their free throws. for 31 from the free throw line as Derek Lively, I switched to him and he just didn't move. As Rozier showing phenomenal defense there. The better fucking why? Why did he right, reach and foul from the guy I'm controlling? Even though I didn't tell him to fucking try to steal it. Lamelo dunks it through two defenders. This play call just call something. Yeah, Williams hits the mid range jump shot. Luca 16. Oh, that should have been a block. Luca 16 assists on the game. Make that 17 assists on the game now. Luka Doncic's big old body in between Hayward and Bogdanovich, but that does not matter. Come on. Pass the ball. There we go. 
Grant, no. Mark Williams, 16 rebounds, they just said. There we go, Lively with a double-double now, 14 and 10. As Luca could not outmuscle Rozier, but he makes the layup nonetheless. As Lamelo just waltzes right by Luca there, Luca just didn't less than nothing, and I was trying to skip the replays, and that meant that I was inbounding the ball that second, and they get an easy layup. There we go, lively catching that alley. -oop. 18 assists now for Luca. And just absolutely posterizing lively there. There we go, at least Kyrie's getting to the free throw line. He's about the only person on the team who's been able to. Kyrie getting MVP chance even though he's on a team with Luka Doncic, who has a 35-point triple-double. Almost a 30-20-10 game. Nice and one opportunity here for Luca, and we are in the bonus. Now Luca getting MVP chance, 38 points, 12 rebounds, 18 assists on the game now. Meanwhile, Kyrie 32, 5 and 8 for him. Uh, after all of that, after all those blocks, we actually do end up with a defensive stop. As, what the fuck? He throws it behind Kyrie. So what should have been an easy 19th assist for him. Easy layup for him. Easy layup for Kyrie ends up in an intercepted pass because of an absolutely abysmal fucking pass attempt. Reject the screen. 40 point triple double now for Luka. They have been killing us on the offensive glass, but the shot clock's off. Should be able to just dribble the ball out now. 139 to 126. 139 to 126. Win the game just solely based off outscoring them and outshooting them. The three-point shot is the only reason we were in the game. They shot. They made 30 free throws. Oh my God. Player of the game is, of course, Luka, 40 points, 18 assists, 13 rebounds, only 3 turnovers. Kyrie, 32-5-8 with 3 blocks. That's right, 3 blocks for Kyrie. Alright. Bogdanovich, 16 points, 3 rebounds and a block. Lively, 16 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 6 blocks. Killing Hayes, 14 points in 12 minutes. Grant Williams, 7 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. And look the rest of the box for Kleba had 2 blocks. Prosper had a steal. Party shot 
0 for 4. He was awful. Then for the Hornets, the Hornets had a very well-balanced attack. 25 points for LaMelo, 24 for Hayward, 20 for Rozier, 16 for Bridges, 16 for Mark Williams, 12 for Nick Richards, 11 for P.J. Washington. I think I'm curious about 5 offensive rebounds for Mark Williams, 4 for Nick Richards, 2 for Rozier, 1 for Hayward, 1 for Bridges, 1 for Washington. Free throws, 7 for 7, 6 for 6, 6 for 6, 4 for 4, 4 for 4, 3 for 4. They were 30 for 31 from the free throw line. We were 16 for 16. We made 17 threes to their six, and that was the difference maker. They had 18 offensive rebounds to our 11. They had 10 steals to our four. We had 12 blocks to their six. They only turned the ball over five times. We turned it over 11. They had. We only had 15 team fouls. It seems like we had more than that. But we pick up winning game one. It was an ugly win. At least, yeah, no, it was an ugly win. But, leave a like on the video to like the video, comment, I don't know, comment something on the video, and, you know, for six bucks, let's aim for two likes on this video for Derek Lively.